Adhesive sheets are a main staple in crafting and paper crafting. Here are two of my favorites. We have the five inch wide Souk Wang tape or Sizzix adhesive sheets. Both of them are permanent adhesive. The adhesive sheets are six by six and they come with 10 in a pack. They're a really nice thin adhesive. So it's a nice adhesive to use on the back of cardstock before die cutting. The Souk Wang is a little bit thicker and I use it for a different technique. You could use it on the back of cardstock and then die cut, but because it's a little bit thicker, sometimes you have a little bit of difficulty going it through it, especially with a more intricate die. To use either of the sheets, you're going to put it onto your cardstock, making sure to rub it really well to make sure that it has really good contact with the paper. And then I put for the adhesive sheets, I put the die on the cardstock side and cut through it. It cut through all of it. There's a little bit of tape backing that didn't cut all the way through, but that's totally fine. Once I've taken the pieces off that I didn't want in there, I took the backing off, put it where I wanted to, and then used a bone folder to really burnish it in place and make sure that that had good contact. For the Souk Wang sheets, I like to put it on the back of cardstock and then I die cut it from the tape backing side. If I'm wanting to use the entire shape, you need to make sure that it's a fairly simple shape. It does not do well with die cutting intricate shapes. For this particular technique, I went and put um, some foil on top of the exposed adhesive to create a foiled die cut. You can also use this tape on cardstock and then die cut through that tape backing and use different colors of embossing glaze or microfine glitter. This is a great way to create a unique card front that has a lot of wow factor that's a little bit different and unexpected from most card fronts. It's also a great way to use your dies in a little bit of a different way by cutting through the tape backing with the cardstock. It's definitely a labor of love though, so this isn't a technique I'd be mass producing. It would be one that I would make for a special person. Both of these tapes are fantastic. I love using both of them. And like I said, they're a main staple in my craft room.